everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Well, that's not really an episode because we are here back in the Battle Arena. Yes. Why? We're back so soon. I know. Well, that is because there have been new updates in the modern world. Of course, it's always why we're here. But if we take a quick look at our contenders, uh, we will also see that over here... Have you ever dreamt of fitting a AAA game into your pocket? I can do it. I can make this work. It can go in my pocket. <laughs> well, now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and 600 plus champions to choose from, you can build your team and raid your way. I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends in my own spare time, but one of the champions I love is Tatura Rimhide. Why? Because it's a freaking lion. That's gold. Gold. Tatura is able to increase your team's defense and put out block debuffs, which neutralizes a lot of the bosses in the Doom Tower. And as if that wasn't enough, his passive reflects some of the damage he takes and has a chance to freeze anyone who attacks him. So what's new with Raid Shadow Legends, you might be asking? Well, they've just released a brand new faction, the Sylvan Watchers, with some amazing new champions, Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, and Fays. There's a new season of the Forge Pass giving you access to the most powerful gear the game has ever seen. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get exclusive rewards inside Raid right now. But if you are one of those new players that's never seen or played Raid before, what are you doing? You can scan my QR code to get in-game rewards worth up to $30 and a new champion, Vergus as well as all of this cool stuff right here. You will find all the rewards waiting for you here in your inbox for the next 30 days. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. Now, before we get into, you know, the main battle that we're gonna start doing this video, I want you guys to name it. You put down in the comments down below, because STG001 doesn't really quite roll off the tongue now, does it? <laughs> so, if you let me know a comment down there, I maybe we'll pick one, the next one, whatever gets the most votes. There was a lot of people like, no, the Indoraptor should have won the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Technically it should have. So, changes we've made this time is, well, we can't change any of the arena because if I do, <laughs> always a fun time. But as you can see, we got like the Mega Sloth in there. Um, of course, the classics like the Car Car, Tiny Little Hyungosauruses. Uh, that is the Pachyrhinosaur. That is a normal looking one. We got something weirdly a Cilophysis <laughs> running very strange around here. Um, of course, the DLC creatures. That I originally started this video um, when the DLC came out. However, there was a glitch where when the dinosaurs are released, and you'll know each one has a different sort of terrain or sorry, territory. As you can see, when we clicked on some, it sort of came up right there. Um, when so many were released at the same time, it glitched and it broke the game. So I could not do a battle royale. So this video is like months overdue, really. Uh, we got the Platia Belodon as well. All of the things you've seen in the last video, like the Torvosaurus and the Tyranno Titan are in, in, <laughs> are in here too, as well as the Lambiosaur. And then look at the fog. The fog looks so good. As well as this. Oh, look at this guy. We've got a green Spinosaurus. Uh, of course, the massive um, Shantungosaurus here, which actually managed to get some kills in the last video, and people said that's because it has the Iguanodon animation set, so I'm assuming that uh, it, it's maybe gonna get some kills this time, but why not we not waste any more no, 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 no time? <laughs> why not we waste no more time and get into the new dinosaurs, or should I say new in quotations, because this is not technically a new dinosaur. No, the Dr. Wu hybrids have now made a return into Jurassic World Evolution 2. Whether for good or for bad, in this case good, because there's more contenders, um, we have the Ankylodocus right here, which is one of the hybrids that is more, I don't know, kind of meh. It, unfortunately, the sauropods suffer greatly when it comes to this game, meaning they can't do anything when it comes to combat. And they kind of look very similar. This Ankylodocus looks exactly like these the other two. You've got a Panosaur, Diplodocus, and the only difference is a few cosmetics on the outside. But apart from that, 
Uh, they're pretty much the same. We have the Ostrovenator, which was the most recently added dinosaur uh, to the DLC. So it has its own unique animations and such. Uh, however, we have had confirmation, or not technically confirmation, but it has, you know, they've put the sound out there and it's definitely coming. Uh, there is going to be a Trosseraptors coming in the next DLC. So that is something to look forward to. But here we have an Irritator. Uh, we do have the other, um, I don't know what you call it, um... Spinosaur Ridia or, you know, Sukumai Ridia, whatever you want to call it, uh, in here as well. But this is the Irritator, so it's really good to see something that, you know, it, it's a, they don't get too much love, but it's another species that I definitely know of. Now, this one, the Miraxus Giga, is, well, as you can quite uh, maybe guess, it is a Giga, not a Saurus. However, um, and maybe it's a subspecies? I don't even know, but... Always good to have a new one come in here. Could even be, you know, an OC by the looks of it. It looks like it could definitely be OC. Actually, a lot of the sauropods now are in danger because a lot of big carnivores like the Giga, like the T-Rex, Carcarodonosaurus, all that can now take them on. So, yeah, it's not just waiting for a Indominus Rex to come around and, you know, kill them. And that's what it would do in Jurassic World Evolution. It would just go from sauropod to sauropod and just kill them all. So here we have the biggest Allosaur genus, the Saurophaganex. I think it is. At least it definitely was a huge Allosaur. Uh, looking a little bit different, it actually comes out, it's not an Allosaur uh, animation set. It seemed to be its own unique one. I mean, it's, it'll be based on something, but really cool to see it here. And that is not all. No, 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 no. We also have this guy. We have the Troodon. Or at least, actually, maybe we already had... Oh, 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 okay. Maybe there's two Troodons. I forgot to give it the skin. <laughs> Never mind. It's just the UI. It looks cool, okay? Uh, we'll ignore that I released another drone on. They're not gonna win. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Argentinosaurus. You need to get out of the way, dear. And the other hybrid that maybe people like, maybe they don't like. I know for some, or at least uh, it definitely tipped the scales for some people who uh, were like, ah, I don't really like this now. <laughs> it looks a bit stupid. The Stegoceratops, which phasing through the floor and now it's not and oh what a joy it is to see this in jurassic world again a hybrid that actually was in the movie jurassic world on one of the computer screens i'm pretty sure and had a toy line and everything which just sort of solidifies the fact that you know it was going to be in the movie it was locked in with the merchandise line so far out because that's what they have to do um but then it was cut later when colin trevorrow's nephew or son or daughter i think it was said oh there's more hybrids that makes indominus rex less special and he went that's what i need perfect you can write the next movie <laughs> a funny way that the cytoceratops is sleeping there but not only do we have that we have this thing a titanoceratops oh my god it's like an angel horn. which it's it looks like a diablo although diabloceratops is a lot smaller uh this looks like edge lord itself Tops. <laughs> it looks like a pentaceratops that's been slightly changed. We've got all the ceratopsins here, but hopefully this one will put up a little bit more of a fight. I always like to see this, you know, the herbivores that can fight back and put up a fight against the giant carnivores because they're always the favorite to win. But this is the most exciting. Yes, we've had Indominus Rex. We've had Indoraptor. Is there any dinosaurs this thing has never faced up against? Well, anyway, here it is. The fan favorite from that DLC. And whoa, what a gorgeous skin that looks like. <laughs> the Spino. Raptor, a dinosaur that in evolution had such a short lifespan. It would literally live for what felt like maybe 40 minutes in your park and then it would die. <laughs> Here, yeah. well, now it's panicking, so maybe it will also die. Frontier put in so much effort when it came to making those hybrids, it seems such a shame to uh, to not see. And there's the giant capybara again. Uh, we've also got, you know, the other things like the giant hippo, which is technically like a port from uh, Planet Zoo. So this is 
This is like Frontier from loads of different games. It's a combination of different things. And that takes our total dinosaur to one per species, 107. Maybe there's two Trodons in there. You never can tell. He also forgot about the Stegosaur that won the last battle royal. Silly beaver. So, I want you to have a guess. Who do you think will be the winner of this one and go into the winner circuit with the Stegosaurus? Oh, let's go. I don't know how this is going to go. But I'm expecting death right off the bat. Oh, that's a lovely looking cryolophosaurus. It's a shame it's absolutely terrified. <laughs> but there is so many dinosaurs in here. But luckily the space is big enough, which will maybe give them enough space to attack each other. Oh, already. Oh, wait, that's not even the, the right battle. Oh, no. Indominus Rex has killed a Megalosaurus. That's not the... It is the first death, actually. Oh, oh. Oh, what was that? And as soon as Ceratops killed something, it was that, uh, the, the, oh, another one did. And Kylosaur has killed the Sukumimus fish. He does not doing too well here. We got the Scorpius Rex. Oh, looking lovely there. Poisoning the ginormous Argentinosaurus, the biggest dinosaur the world has ever seen. And, oh, it's going for it again. Ah, oh, lovely jubbly. Agrocanthosaurus takes down Baryonyx. Wow, it is not a good time to be one of the fishes. <laughs> We've got Indominus Rex, who's attacked a more of the... Oh, no, it's the Ankylodocus, the hybrid, which is phasing inside there. Scorpius Rex still taking a few num-nums out of the Argentinosaurus. You know, just getting some din-din bites in. Just can't leave it alone. And we have Indoraptor, a surefire favorite. To oh, oh, takes down the Mutaborosaurus there. Lovely. I mean, Hadrosaurus aren't going to last long. If you voted for one of those, well... I mean, God help you, you're gonna need it. Ooh, Saurophaganix taking on a Carnotaurus. And it, ooh, it kind of seems to be even. Indominus Rex is, oh, it's still taking it on. Oh, Proceratosaurus, a mini cup. Proceratosaurus killed by Monolophosaurus. And Indoraptor killing a Parasaurus. Oh, we are flip-flopping between battles. Nizutoceratops <laughs> taking a well-earned break there, while Indominus Rex chomps on Ankylodos Ankylodocus again. Scorpius Rex has left the, uh, oh wait, what, what are you going for? Oh no, it's chomping on the Ankylodocus now. Oh, Argentinosaurus passes through, or passes out from the Venom, and Indominus Rex lines up to take on the Mementiosaurus. Uh, oh, this is the, oh god, the, the Tang Along taking on the original gig and winning! There is so much death now. Nazutoceratops, <gasps> take it. Oh, he killed the Miragaya. What are you doing? <laughs> How many things is this kill? It's killed too. Nazutoceratops, oh my god, is another herbivore gonna win? That would be amazing. Oh, we've got Karkaradinosaurus taking on Ceratosaur, the can only one dinosaur that begins with C. And Dominus Rex still chomping on the poor Mementiosaurus. No shows from Spinosaur or T-Rex, which seems to be at the moment. Uh, and there's another one taking on Mementiosaur, just biting it. Relentless, it really is. Oh, Indoraptor killed by Allosaurus. You just saw it there. I don't even know. It probably did the, the regular bite. There's Spinoraptor there. Not really doing too much. Indominus Rex taking a break out of chomping on Mementiosaurus to kill Kurithosaurus. And Woohoosaurus is is actually putting up a fight against Tyranno Titan. That is really weird. Um, oh, yeah, it actually, it actually damaged it. What's going on? Oh, we got a Becky here. Uh, Spinosaurus. Oh, no, Scorpius Rex killed the hippo. Oh, you hate to see it. Indominus Rex now taking on the Brachiosaurus. Well, the herbivores, Brachiosaurus and Hadrosaurus really don't stand too much of a chance when it comes to just general survivability in this game, unfortunately. And uh, there it goes again. We've got a Cocoridonosaurus. Oh, Carnotaurus taking on Irritator. Survived its fight against Saurophaganix. And the Platybelodon now gets chomped on by the Scorpius. I really want to know how this one ends because this is more interesting. A 12. Oh, 100%. Oh, Irritator taking a hit there. Uh, we've got the Oranosaur being killed by Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex going on so many killing sprees. So is Scorpius Rex here. Not much going on with the Spinoraptor. It must be said. Uh, oh, Metric at the source is just backing up there going, Oh, Lord, I'm, I'm out of here. Another... Oh, it just loves it. It's like, mm, I love the taste of mammals. <laughs>
And now we've got Triceratops taking on the... Oh, the Mega Giga, whatever it was called, and wins! What is going on? I think it could be very likely we're going to see quite a few herbivores in the finale. Maybe they'll even kill each other. And the Ceratopsians don't get on with a lot of things. Platia Belladon dead. Nope, nope, it's not. And no, the Colombian Mammoth, I think it was. I got that wrong so many times. I called it like a Mastodon uh, being taken on by the Indominus Rex. And a little, he's got like a little pet capybara. <laughs> just like a, yeah, there's a little pet. That's amazing. The Shantungosaurus just running about there. Uh, Carnotaurus seems like it did lose its fight to Irritator. Ooh, that's fascinating. And that takes our battle of 107 dinosaurs to 86 remaining. And Scorpius Rex really not letting up on the Platia Belladon. But there's nothing really these guys can do. They just walk around and just absorb blows. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, it's getting a bit corpsey in here now. And Indominus Rex still taking on the Colombian Mammoth. And, oh, Saurophagonix against, oh, a T-Rex! Oh, Spinosaur, finally! And it killed the mama, oh! And Nozutoceratops kills Pentacet, what is going on here? Those guys are being way too, uh, way too killy for the wrong code, especially Nozutoceratops, what? It's not even like the biggest Ceratops in. Scorpius Rex going for God knows what. The Indominus Rex now taking on Dread Nortus. And it's going for the Columbia map. They've traded opponents. All my notifications seems to be with those guys. But I want to see what else goes on. Again with that Dread Nortus. Oh, we got Taurovasaur just running around here. Indominus against Dread Nortus. Myosaur Gallimimus. Some of these uh, herbivores surviving where I really didn't think they would. Acrocanthosaurus, have you any battles with anything? You have, and you've killed something. God knows what that was. Nazutoceratops is now lonely. Um, well, you've killed all your friends. <laughs> Got to admit. Scorpius Rex now taking on the Dread Nordus again. Okay, those two are working together, I swear. It's like a little minion, boss minion relationship. Indominus Rex tells it what to kill. Oh, no! The Titanoceratops is being killed by Spinosaurus or Spinoraptor? I don't even know what that one was. Um, now, finally going on to the last of the elephants, uh, the Anacus Avanesis. Uh, not looking too good for them. That could be it. Therizinosaurus still surviving. That is something that um, could actually take on some carnivores. T-Rex, Sukumimus. Uh, the Sukumimus killed by the Ankylosaur. It, this is a one for the books. There has been so many kills from the herbivores here. Onto carnivores. So it's really going to leave up to a... <laughs> Up to a few to do the heavy lifting. So much so, you've got Sinsatosaurus. Um, I have not seen Indoraptor, but Indoraptor was killed by the Allosaur. Uh, yeah, that's right. I haven't seen Allosaur. Again, these guys just keep on chomping at a bit at the, the other big um, sauropods. And finally, something different. We've got a Taurosaur taking on Tyranno Titan, I think it is. Um, but Tyranno Titan hasn't done too hot, I think. Oh! I don't know if that might be the hit. Oh, we got Spinoraptor taking on... Uh, oh, no. Is it? Is, is it killing the Pachycephalosaurus? I don't even know what's going on here. It doesn't even know. It's waiting for it to line up. Lord knows. It's probably going to kill it. And there it goes. Pachycephalosaurus did not stand much of a chance. Gallimimus now gets taken out by Indominus Rex. Who didn't see that coming? Oh, Tyranno Titan did win its battle. It took a few hits from the Taurosaur, but it is, you know, everyone likes an underdog story. You can't just come out the gate swinging and win and expect to win the crowd's favor. Ceratosaurus now taking on a Sinoceratops. Interesting, this thing did fight something. And, uh, oh, oh no! Whoa, God! That was amazing, Sinoceratops killed it. Shantungosaurus, the largest of the Hadrosaurs, died to Scorpius Rex. Um, and now Scorpius Rex is... Uh, I don't even... Is it trying to take on a Styracosaurus? No, it's taking on a Struthiomimus. Bless it. And throws it along the floor there like a plaything. Spinosaurus, after making its kill with the T-Rex, is eyeing up an Acrocanthosaurus. Now, both of these have made one fight and one kill. Oh, and Spinosaur goes first. I don't even know what that thing is. What is that? I can't remember. Oh, and a bite from the Acrocanthosaurus as well. And a clash. Love to see it. Nice of, you know, they added a little bit of a unique animation for the carnivores. And Spinosaur has won that one. Can it be a Site B victory? 
you know, including the stegosaur from the last one. And oh no, the new whatever it was called, the Alalmosaurus, being killed by an Indominus Rex. And what have we got here? We've got those two eyeing each other up. Oh, Cryolophosaurus killed by Tyranotitan. It's getting the little experience by killing the smaller uh, carnivores there that really wouldn't put up much of a fight. Um, and the Tatangalongosaurus taking on Carcharodonosaurus. It looks like it might be winning. Uh, 56 against 53. It's a close one. They're oh, Tatangalong actually winning that exchange. We've still got some Allura Titans and other Hadrosaurs. Oh, the Dippy! How many kills has this thing made? It's made six prey kills, apparently. And I'm pretty sure it's counting, you know, all of its kills as prey kills. Because it can... Yep, there you go. It is really not letting up. All the herbivores, all the sauropod animations will die. They do not get a chance to heal. Oh, we've got a Scorpius Rex taking on one of the new... Oh, and a whip tail absolutely destroyed the new carnival. What was it? The Australova Raptor instantly died. That is such a shame. It would have been so cool to see. And then Scorpivex now cleaning up. Wow, how many? Okay, we need to see how many kills this thing's made. Um, eight? Well, that'll probably make that nine. Yep, that's nine. Five prey kills and four regular kills. As opposed to Indominus Rex's six prey kills and one normal kill. So it's actually got more kills than Indominus Rex. What if it's just been kill stealing? Possibly. We've got a lot of small carnivores still running amok, waiting for their time to shine once the giant carnivores have all killed themselves and then also killed the giant herbivores. We started with 107 dinosaurs. We're now down to 68. What's it hunting down? What was an M? Oh, it's trying. Oh, no, no, it's taking on the giant sloth. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is one heavy beastie that it just swung backwards. Okay, that was that was quick. Interesting. It must have the Nigerosaurus animation because I'm pretty sure that's what. Uh, oh, look, the Woohoosaurus. Oh, giving giving us a bit of leg. Lovely. Because it does have one fight record and it has won one. And what is this? Oh, Stegoceratops! Wow, has killed Tyranno Titan. I thought Tyranno Titan was going to be in it for the long haul, actually. And Sp Spinosaurus. Killed by Changiosaurus. What? That was its first kill. And it killed Spinosaurus in like one. Okay, Indominus Rex has just now finished off Minmi. Okay. Now, who's going to finish off Indominus Rex? It really feels like it's always oh, using its cloaking camouflage here to sneak up on something. Although, I don't know how you can sneak up when you just run straight at it. Um, Detangalong now taking on the Saurophagonix. It won this exchange last time. It might be wanting to finish the job, but no! Saurophagonix gets one hit off maybe before it finally bites the dust. Let's have a look. We've also got Scorpius Rex in the background. Oh, 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 no, no, Woohoosaurus, take it out. Oh, nothing can stop that thing. We've got Indominus Rex taking on Acrocanthosaurus. Now, Acrocanthosaurus actually, oh, they're, no, they're not, they're not fighting. Okay, I was going to say, Acrocanthosaurus lost to Spinosaur. I can't believe Spinosaur died like that. It killed the T-Rex, and then it just gets finished by something like that. Oh, Lambiosaur, I think they're being thrown about like a ragdoll. Irritator's still surviving. Deinonychus still alive. The friggin' Capybara is also still alive. And Camarasaur is soon to not be alive because Indominus Rex has selected it for extinction. Oh, oh, Scorpius Rex against a what? Oh, it was an S. Oh, no, Stiggy! It's all oh, gone. Oh, oh, there you go, Stiggy. It's killed the Patchy Cephalosaurus. It's killed the Stiggy Morlock. And I think there is still a Draco Rex. Oh, I don't know. How, what, what are you? You're a weird dancer. <laughs> there is still a Draco Rex hiding around here somewhere. We are definitely seeing some standouts here. Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, possibly Stegoceratops, and maybe Changesaurus, as well as Detangalon, soon to be the standout ones. And possibly Nazutoceratops, because that has killed two things. Yep. Again, Indominus Rex just constantly going for that poor Camarasaurus. As soon as the animation ends, he's like, you know what I'm going to do? You know, it'd be funny if I did it again <laughs> and again. But we've still got Spinoraptor. We've still got this cutie. My God, if Capybara wins, that would be hilarious. No, Indominus Rex has chosen the Capybara. No, please, Capybara, kill the Indominus Rex. Being upset. Go on, I dare you. Do it. Do it. He's got a little poo <laughs> Oh, no, run. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please kill him. No, no, don't kill him. No, no, no. Damn it.
I was so hoping, imagine if the Kamipora killed the Dorus Rex. It would be amazing. Oh, no! Oh, Jeet's killed the whole genus family. Draco Rex, Sticky Moloch, and now Patchy Cephalosaurus killed by Scorpius Rex. I had a friggin' vendetta. They said it wasn't smart, yet it's killed the entire family bloodline. Apatosaurus seems to be the last of its kind of the giant sauropods to survive. However, Indominus Rex has now just seen it and is coming over. I'm so sorry. I've jinxed you. I apologize. Oh, Iguanodon, you're, ca you're kind of in the shot. And there's the bites. Oh, and uh, that, what is that sticking out? Oh, it's a scar. Is that a bone? Good God. Oh, Stegoceratops killing Sauropagonix. Oh, wow. That is two giant carnivores this thing has killed, taking it to infamy level three. Scorpius Rex killing a patchy rhinosaurus there, and is now also hunting down the Apatosaurus? So I'm kind of curious as to what the Indominus Rex is now hunting. No, it's looking at the Apatosaur, but then the Scorpius Rex is probably going to come over now to hunt it. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not. Nope. Yep. Yep, it is. They're taking turns. The Iguanodon has now made some poor life decisions and is wanting to take on the Indominus Rex. It has had no battles and... Yep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like, I got this. <laughs> no, I don't got this. Well, I'd say it's a life lesson learned, but I mean, you can't learn a life lesson if you're not alive anymore. Proceratosaurus, oh, look at you. You've killed one thing as well. You've done very well. We've, e we've even got friggin' pa- Oh, there's the Dilophosaurus. They do exist, but they're all still panicking. So eventually when these giant carnivores have killed each other, then we're gonna see a spat of all these smaller carnivores attacking each other. Okay. I've just turned off all of the comfort. Oh, Changosaurus now killing the Carcharodonosaurus. And, oh, Scorpius Rex taking on the... Oh, no, the Lambiosaur died and the uh, Tarchia died. Both in the same place to both the same carnival, the Scorpius Rex. It now has a whopping 19 kills under its belt and a dominance of 988,000. Okay, Nozutoceratops has chosen its opponent. Can you guess who it is? It's freaking Indominus Rex. And it actually stood up to it. Well, I was expecting it to die instantly. Now, Nozutoceratops has killed a few of its own brethren. Not too sure why, but against an Indominus Rex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got bit and survived and is now running for its life. I do not blame it. And the Indominus Rex has went straight on now to hunt down the, a tiny little Dryosaur. As if going from one battle wasn't enough, now it instantly kills something else. Acrocanthosaurus has made one kill and it's won one fight and lost one fight. But with those sad puppy dog eyes, can it somehow manage to win? Strangely enough, for the small carnivores, peace has sort of descended upon them. Like they're no longer running, they're not fighting each other. Maybe this place is big enough for them to have a territory that doesn't coincide with each other? No. Oh no. Oh no. Aeonoraptor, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! <laughs> you fool! We've got a battle over here! Detanglong killed by Scorpius! I mean, at this point, is there anything that Scorpius Rex can't kill? Although we still have the Allosaur. I think the Allosaur was the only one that managed to put an end to Indoraptor before it could really get started on a killing rampage. Dinosaur count from 107 down to 41. And Scorpius Rex now taking on an Acrocanthosaurus. Scorpius Rex with a spotless battle record. Oh, and Acrocanthosaurus, they're, they're turning away. Okay, very interesting. That, I think that's twice now that Acrocanthosaurus has avoided almost certain death by just walking away from a battle. Something to be learned there. Changiosaurus, however, might be the secret here. It's been kind of quiet, just sitting there, observing, and then when the time arises, just killing the Spinosaurus or killing Carcharodonosaurus. So maybe it'll do exactly the same to Indominus Rex or Scorpius Rex. And here we have it, Indominus Rex versus Stegoceratops. If there's gonna be one herbivore that can stand up to Indominus Rex, uh, it's not that one, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought maybe there was a chance, but oh wow. 
It, it killed so many other things, but when it... Ah, it's just so much of a difference. And uh, Kendra saw falling to a Scorpius Rex. And then, pretty sure Scorpius Rex is now running over to something else to now butcher it. You know, there's a developer out there that makes a game that looks this good, has dinosaur models this good, and then just makes the battles completely random, as in, like, they're not... Oh, wow, he's running backwards! What is that doing? That's amazing! Wow! <laughs> but no, they just make, like, the, the actual interactions completely random. So, like, maybe it could run alongside, bite it, and then kick it or something. Instead of, like, they duel, they spin, they win or lose. That game will never go out of, like, fashion. It will always be popular. Monolophosaurus? Yeah, that was only gonna end one way. <laughs> Therizinosaurus still managing to uh, to be okay, just completely running around all the time and not even losing any stamina. Oh, Triceratops against Majungasaur. I didn't even know that was in there. Survived this long. And then, in fact, I'd never even seen these two dinosaurs and they've apparently had a fight and Triceratops has killed Majungasaurus. Oh yeah, and the Pygmy Hippo's still here. Oh no, Zootoceratops is taking on Scorpius. Oh, oh, it takes a hit, but it survived. I was kind of expecting an Azutoceratops to die instantly, but it's taken on Indominus Rex, it's taken on Scorpius Rex, and has survived each time. However, this time, it's poisoned, and with 9% health, I think it's probably gonna die. I'm sort of- I'm ordering the sedation of the Therizinosaurus, because I think it might have glitched, and that is one dinosaur. <laughs> that I definitely want to see in a battle. Oh, Indominus Rex versus Acrocanthosaurus. This is actually happening. Let's see how this battle unravels. Oh, I think we missed the initial hit with the Indominus Rex. Oh, the clash comes through. The Polacanthus trying to get out of the way there. And Indominus Rex wins. I thought we missed that one hit, like the initial one. Nazutoceratops at 1% health. And unfortunately, whoop, there it goes. It killed three things, it won three battles, and lost only one, apparently. And a battle for the ages! Finally, the two contestants, are they actually gonna, like, the two top tier contestants, are they gonna fight each other? <laughs> no. No, they're saving that for the end, so we can get good watch time on YouTube. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You're, you're fighting this thing. Wow, wow. It's, it's really going to wait for it to walk all the way over. And then it's probably just going to tail slap in one. Look how big this thing is. Yeah. Whoa, and there it goes. <laughs> the disrespect there. Good God. Oh my God, the copy's still going. Yippocephalus is just managing to stay alive because it's doing a weird run. And after sedating and letting the Therizinosaurus go, it is still continuously running around like a madman. That does feel like a lot of these dinosaurs are not fighting each other and I'm not exactly too sure why. I will put on hunger, I will put on thirst, and I will put comfort back on just to see if that changes anything. Oh! Oh, this does not look good. This is a fight between the Spinoraptor and the Scorpius and it looks like the Scorpius is about to win. Please tell me you're not about to one-shot that Spinoraptor, please. <laughs> Oh god, after all this time we waited and you just killed it like that. Oh, Acrocanthosaurus against Hyungasaur. Uh, it obviously wants an easy win. Yep, there you have it. Owen Grady wanted to pop in and say something about that, but we're gonna mute him. Allosaur and Indominus Rex now taking each other on. And I don't know, it looks like Allosaur might have got the first hit on, unless Indominus Rex already had those scars on it. Because I'm, exa I'm not exactly sure how the scar system works. Because I think some of them do remain permanent. Uh, you know, fighting right next to an Ankylosaur. <laughs> and the Allosaur decides to run away. And Indominus Rex wins. Okay, I've quarantined all the dancing dinosaurs. And now I'm just going to try and sedate them. Because I have no idea what is going on with these guys. Battle? I don't know if this is one that's made a kill. I think it might be. Oh, lovely! Low health on the Ankylosaur, but it does live to see another day. 10% health, good god, that was close. The Pro Proceratosaurus has been a good boy, eating the like, dead carcass of an Albertosaurus, or sorry, Acrocanthosaurus there. Maybe a little timeout might do them the world of good. Oh, Scorpius Rex and Sora Pelter there, and again, Scorpius Rex makes another kill, taking its kill count to 25. Changosaurus picking an interesting battle against a Triceratops. You know, it's killed the Apexes, and now it wants to kill a Triceratops, and oh, 
goes for the jugular and just pushes it over there. This might be the dark horse, I think. You think it might be Indominus Rex, but I don't know. Okay, here we go. First one in. You're going to go straight back to running? I bet you blooming well are. <laughs> and off he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Scorpius Rex taking on an Ankylosaur. I think they have this fight before. Oh, a massive hit from the Ankylosaur into the Scorpius Rex. Really? That should have killed it. Brittle bones like that and low health onto this Ankylosaur. But is it going to be enough? Oh, it does run away and it's on 42% health and it is poison, but it should have enough health to survive and come back from that. Yeah, that's death approaching you, Metrocanthosaurus. 100% death. However, this does go to prove that, you know, a, a dinosaur with dancing fever can actually get into combat. Although it really doesn't want to. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I just wanted to go dancing. <laughs> and now you're dead. Ankylosaur still trying to come back from its poison, but it's only a minute in and it's lost half the remaining health it had, so it's not looking good. It looks like it's going to succumb to the Scorpius Rex Venom. No way. No, you're not doing this, are you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Don't taunt me like that. That's the final battle. You know what? At least it's going to go out with a bang. You know, it doesn't die to poison. It actually gets taken out. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. Well done. Well done. No, oh my God. Even concavenate it. It's panicking. But because it's so... Oh, God. What's happening here? Oh, Hararasaur. I think this was one that actually was having the dancing fever as well. So maybe Indominus Rex is slowly going to take them all out. I don't know. Oh, oh. Not the Yuposephalus! No! He had the best dancing moves! Hold on, we have the Therizinosaurus against the Changesaurus! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if the Therizinosaurus manages to kill him! Woo! Yeah, now we're seeing a lot of dinosaurs dying of thirst and hunger. The majority of the small carnivores, in fact, seem to be suffering from this fate. Oh, God. Oh, not the Pygmy Hippo! Anything but the Pygmy Hippo! Oh! Oh, the battle's happening! The battle's happening! Changesaurus against Scorpius Rex! Oh, Chant I knew it! I knew it! I had a feeling! The way this thing was sort of analyzing the situations and stuff, as opposed to this, which was running and kill every killed everything. This was calculating. Yes, I knew it didn't even put up any fight whatsoever. Scorpius Rex, a legacy of 27 kills, 18 victories, and only one defeat. And unfortunately, that defeat ended in its death. And it didn't even get off a single hit onto Changesaurus, which, you know, if it got hit once, would have been poisoned, and that could have been it. That could have been the death of it. But now, with five, only five kills, might win this thing. We now only have 11 dinosaurs left. Oh, well, soon to be 10, because Pyraptor's gonna die too. Oh! Oh my god, for the first time... This guy's actually not glitched out. The Tarovasaurus. Maybe there was something that glitched them all out, and when it died, they're okay now. Oh, and Allosaurus is uh, keen to capitalize on that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, another easy kill coming up for the Indominus Rex, I think. Unless Polacanthus can somehow roll up into a ball and break its skull through like a sonic roll. I don't know what Indominus Rex is doing here. He's just asserting his dominance. <laughs> I will step all over you, yes. Oh, however, Torvosaurus are taking out one bite from the Allosaurus there. Ooh, Allosaurus is challenging Indominus Rex here. My money's on Indominus Rex, but I don't know. Allosaur looks like it does have some scars, and it has killed the, the most recent. So, let's see. Oh, oh, takes a hit but still standing after going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Indominus Rex. But because Indominus Rex bit first, it does show that Indominus Rex is the stronger out of the two. But it, they both do get one hit off. or oh, sorry, two hits off each, and then Indominus Rex wins. It just depends. 69% against 40. Yeah, yeah, Indominus Rex is going to win that one. Polar Cantus taken out by Changesaurus, and I think we have now entered our final five. Changesaur... Sinoceratops, Allosaurus, some uh, Nodosaur, which is definitely going to die in a second, and of course, Indominus Rex. Sinoceratops taking a fight 
to Spinosaur. Oh, it is down. I haven't touched anything. I haven't touched anything. How did that? Ha I'm in disbelief. 26 kills. Dominance of 90, 968,000. And it just died to one thing, a Sinoceratops that had one kill and one victory. The only thing I can think that made the difference there was that Indominus Rex had taken a hit in a previous battle not too long ago. And, well, two hits, actually. Wow. Wow. Sinus... No. We, I feel like... Sinoceratops can't win it now, can he? What? That was completely unexpected. Good lord. You can never tell. You can never tell which way it's gonna go. That's why you watch. <laughs> that leaves Allosaurus, Scorpius Rex... And the Sino to really battle it out. We do have a pro Ceratosaurus, actually. The final two carnivores are now facing up against each other. Changosaurus against Allosaurus. Oh, it's just as I thought. Changosaurus killing it there. Not even a challenge. Didn't even try to, like, fight, run around each other. It was just so one-sided. And that means it is Changosaur against the Sinoceratops, could you believe it? This is gonna be interesting. All right, guys, here we have it. Both on 100%, two kills to the Sinoceratops and seven kills to the Changosaurus. Now, law would dictate Changosaurus is gonna win this, but you did just see Sinoceratops completely topple the king in Dominus Rex. How will this one go is anybody's guess. And the first goes to... Oh, it's not an instant kill. Changesaur gets a hit off, but it's not like straight away. Normally, there is an animation there. And it hit off, but it's not a kill either for the Sino. Ooh. Oh, this go... Oh, was that another hit from the Sino? It's hard to say. That was a weird animation, but it looks like Changesaur did win that exchange. How badly did it get injured? One's on low health. 62% for the Changesaur and 52% for Sino. It is a close one. It looks like this could be the final battle between the two. It's anyone 98% against a 99 or it's a hundred. They're both on a hundred. Here we go. Sinoceratops gives out a roar as Changesaur approaches. Now, normally, I, I think I found that the winner gets approached. So, although saying that, Sino's gonna take another beating here. I think this might be a repeat. If Changesaur's gonna win, Sinoceratops oh, really isn't gonna let him take it easily. As they turn to face each other, both have taken a hit. Ooh. Oh, it kind of goes round, nudges him off. Is there going to be a second hit? Oh, yeah, it doesn't look good for the Sino now on 51% and 62% for the Changesaur. That is now two wins and two losses for the Sino. And his infamy is level two. I think it was three before. Whereas this guy's infamy level is two as well. They are very close. As far as infamy goes, anyway. So we have infamy level one on the Changesaurus and infamy level two on the Sino. Although the Sino has lost two battles, so I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen here. Shame there's a bush in the way, but let's see. Oh, it could go either way. Both of them have ended their praise so quickly, or their, their um, opponents. And again, it looks like the Changesaur is leading in with the attack and oh, the dodge. I don't think that was a hit. I think that was a dodge from the Sino. Oh. It looks like the sun is really not taking these too well and does go off. But I didn't even know. Oh, was it? 68 against 42. I think last time was a 10% difference. This time it's a 20% difference. Oh, Changesaurus has dropped down to infamy level 1. And Sino always also dropped down to infamy level 2. I was thinking if he's level 3, that might make the difference here. But now, and it's the health. Will the health really be the victory that Changesaurus has been waiting for? 
another hit straight in. There was already like a 10% difference between the two. And Changesaurus usually wins. And oh, the nudge as it tries to get round. That time it worked, which is interesting because normally the animation doesn't work. So this must be the perfect scenario for the two of them. And oh, another dodge. Really doesn't look like he's taken much damage. And oh, it's just getting more and more decrepit looking blessed. Oh, the fight's starting again this time. I think the Sino is on infamy level three and the Changesaurus is on infamy level one. 100% health from the Changesaurus and 65% health on the Sino. Could this be the final victory after five long agonizing rounds of this? Is there finally gonna be a victor and who will it be? Changesaurus, there you go. Finally, it wore down the Sinoceratops. And we have... Oh, God, no, that's not it. And we finally have our winner, Changesaurus. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, that was a roller coaster of a ride. And we will now put in Changesaurus in with the newly named Stegosaur that you've probably named in this video. I also will put the Proceratosaurus in. And off the winners go. So if you have enjoyed... Oh my god, what a roller coaster of emotion it really has been. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like and until the next Battle Royale. Oh, just another video that you'll watch. I'll see you cuties in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>